Hello, I am in my TV studio as you can see and I'm going to review with you all of the steps involved in putting together a pretty professional looking video. In actuality, as you can see now, I'm just sitting in a chair with a green screen behind me. In addition, I don't have professional lighting. I have natural light coming from the window behind the camera. I have some artificial light coming from overhead. I have my smartphone on a tripod and that is all I have in order to create this video. So the key thing to keep in mind and to learn from this instructional video is how can you create a fairly professional looking video within the limitations of the tools that you have. Let's examine that now. Iron, some spray and starch, an ironing board so when you iron your green screen you can take out all of the creases. The creases and the folds are the most important thing to remove in order to get a good quality shot when you do your video. Get yourself some kind of tripod. Now this tripod I picked up at a garage sale for five dollars. Find some type of device that you can attach your smartphone to making sure that it can attach to a tripod, as we can see here. In order to record your video, make sure you're comfortable with the tools inside of your phone. I'm using an iPhone here and I'm in the control center and I can just click on my photo button and then you can see I can choose video. I can also try various other um, approaches. I can do slow motion, time lapse, and when I am on video, of course, I can do this mode so you can see yourself. But the idea is that you need to utilize all of the tools that you have available for you. Of course, you have the option to come onto campus and shoot the video in the little green room that we've got set up in Magini Hall. You just follow the instructions on the assignment page. If you decide not to do any green screening at all, you need to make sure that the quality of your resume video includes all of the components and focuses primarily on you showing other content, whether it be your websites or examples of animations that you've created, examples of projects that you've been working on, something that's going to demonstrate that you've got the video skills necessary. Good luck. Bye-bye.